today I'm going to show you how to make this stuffed pepper soup with cauliflower rice. Okay, so I have the ingredients assembled here. We've got uh, 500 grams or about one pound of ground beef or mince. I've got half of a cauliflower which we're going to chop into uh, rice size texture. We're actually only going to use one half of each of these or you could use just one bell pepper if you prefer but I'd like, I'm going to use half of a red one and half of a green one. Uh, bell peppers or capsicum. About one cup or a medium onion, we're going to dice that. <clears throat> Three cloves or a good sized tablespoon of minced garlic. Then we've got two cups of chicken stock and I'm using a no added salt version for the Dr. Poon diet. I've got two cans of chopped tomatoes and then we need about one and three quarter cups of tomato sauce, as it's called in America, but that's uh, actually more like ketchup here in Australia. So I could use something like a passata if I had it, but I've got a can of crushed tomatoes on hand, so I'll use that to stand in for the tomato sauce. Then we've got um, about a half a teaspoon of dried marjoram and salt and pepper to taste. Now I've got fresh pepper that I'm going to grind, but I'm using a light salt, which is about 50% less sodium, uh, just to keep the salt levels low. So I've got a soup pot. Um, you can use a Dutch oven, whatever you've got handy, and put it on a medium-high heat. And I'm going to start by browning the beef mince. So I'll put that in the pan. And I'll break that up a bit and come and stir it periodically. But while this is browning, I'm going to start chopping the vegetables. So I'm going to start with the cauliflower, because a couple things I'm going to use my food processor for. You can break it apart in the bigger chunks first, or cut it doesn't make any difference. And what we're going to do, you can do this by hand if you don't have a food processor. You just want to do it uh, in very small little pieces like that so it resembles rice. Um, and you can chop it, you know, in slices like that and go back over it if you want to do it by hand. Otherwise, I'm just going to pop these over in my food processor. And you don't want to over process it. You don't want it to puree. You just want small grains that resemble rice. I don't want to go too small with the pieces again because they're supposed to look like rice. So I'm going to pull out any bigger pieces and we'll just do them again. Okay, now I've got some there. As you can see, I only need about three cups of the riced cauliflower. So I had a pretty good size head, so I'm not going to use the rest of that. But just, yeah, approximately three cups is enough. So now I'll chop the onions. Um, you can dice those. You can run those for the food process if you like as well. I'm just going to dice them and again half of the capsicums. Okay, so I've finished browning the meat and I've drained off any fat. Now I'm going to add the garlic, three cloves or one tablespoon approximately, and then my chopped onions and bell pepper or capsicum. And we're going to stir those now over. We've reduced the heat to maybe a medium low. And we're just going to saute these for about five more minutes. Stir that in well. And a couple of times during the time that it's cooking as well. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to add now everything except the cauliflower. So I've got my seasonings already mixed here, the margarine, salt, and pepper. I'll add that in first and stir that through. And then I'll just add everything else. So that's our two cups of the chicken stock. And the two cans of diced tomatoes and one can of crushed or tomato sauce if you're using that. Stir that through. Now in the original recipe they used um, regular rice, so they just served the soup over rice. I'm going to add it in here. Um, this is going to cook for about 30 minutes simmering, and I'm going to cover it up. Um, but about 10 minutes before then, we'll add the cauliflower so it has time to cook because it's still raw. But it, being that small won't take long, so I don't want to add it now. It'll get mushy. Okay, so just stir that up, cover it, and let it simmer on medium or medium low um, for about 30 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes, so I'm just going to give it a good stir, and then we're going to add the cauliflower and cook it for the final 10 minutes. It probably won't take quite that long to cook, but it shouldn't hurt it any, so I'm going to put it in now and stir it through. Now you could choose to just cook your cauliflower separately and serve the soup on top of it, that would be fine too, uh, but I just thought it's easier to cook it all, throwing it right in there. Stir it up, cover it, and go another 10 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to take the top 
off and give it a stir. And we'll serve some up. Well, there you have it. There's the finished product. You can see it's nice and thick. And it's already got the cauliflower rice right in it. It's got all the flavors of having stuffed peppers. Uh, but just in a quick bowl. And you can even, if you like, because normally stuffed peppers would be served with some melted cheese on, you could stir a little bit of cheese in there as well. Serve it however you like it. Enjoy!